Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Before I jump into today's tutorial, just wanted to say stay tuned to the end of this video where I will be sharing some information on a fantastic giveaway that some of my YouTube friends and Neil Sugar Ladies are running on their channels. So stay tuned. Okay, so we're jumping into today's video and here we go. I have my little tip all prepped and ready to go. Um, what I'm going to be doing is starting off with some black gel polish. Now, just a little tip for those of you who struggle with black gel polish as it can be a little bit temperamental to use. I would say work in very, very thin layers. Um, so the first layer I put on is almost like a base layer. You will see just how thin it is. And once that thin layer is applied and coated, it's not going to look too great. But I pop that into the lamp for a double cure and then I repeat the process three times. So I actually build the black up in three very, very thin layers. And I find that this stops any kind of bubbling and sort of creasing and stuff like that there that you would normally get with black. So definitely apply thin layers of black and build it up that way. And you will have a beautiful black at the end of it. Okay, so now I'm moving on to the next step. I have my little palette and this is the Moira Stamping Gel Polish, which is fantastic, especially if you love um, stamping with the like of pigments and stuff like that there, because obviously it's a curable um, polish, so you do have to cure it. Um, so I'm just putting a couple of drops onto my little palette. Um, I'm working with this today because it has a really tacky finish on it, which is what I want for the pigments. So I'll be using my Natmug Detailer brush with a um, very, very, very fine nib on it. And just removing the inhibition layer there with some gel cleanser because we wanna have a kind of nice matte effect, nail ready to go, just like that. Um, so we've got all that sort of tacky layer rubbed off so the polish doesn't bleed when we're detailing. So here we go. Um, and all you're going to do is you're just going to um, just freehand some little diamonds down the centre of the nail. Um, this is the third nail that I have actually done this design on. So I did have a couple of practice runs beforehand. And I do find that kind of the thinner that you keep your diamonds, the better that it sort of looks and keep the edges just a little bit more rounded. They don't have to be really sharp because obviously this is a snakeskin effect and it kind of has that sort of more roundy edge to the actual pattern. So once you have your little diamonds down the center, then you can go in and set that with a flash cure. Okay, so now that we have flash cured, I'm just going in and repeating exactly the same process down um, either side of our middle row of diamonds. So again, keeping um, them kind of narrow and sort of not too angular and then filling them in then obviously as I go along. So the great thing about this design is that it doesn't have to be too precise. So if you are really sort of starting off with freehand. This is actually quite a fun design um, to, to sort of to practice with, you know. Um, so that's me doing the other side there now. And then once I have that all done, it shall go into the lamp for another flash cure just to kind of keep everything set in place.
Okay, so moving on to the next bit of the design and this here is literally just adding some wee dots and splodges down the sides of our diamonds to make it a little bit more sort of that snake skin effect. Um, so once I have both sides done, I'll, I'll, go, I'll then go into the lamp for a full cure and uh, get ready then for the next stage, which will be our pigments. Okay, so here we go. I'm working with obviously the neon green and yellow. And um, I will then be using as well too this little brush that I have, which is a great wee brush just for applying some pigments. It's nice and firm and stiff. So um, I'm just dipping into the green. And as you can see, I'm just gonna press that down the center line of the design because we're sort of aiming for an ombre effect. It doesn't have to be too neat, so just really press that in. Like I say, with this here being the stamping gel polish, it has a really tacky layer. So once you've gone in with your green, then you can dip in into the yellow and do that down both sides. And then what I do is I tend to reapply the pigment a second time, um, which you'll see here just in a moment. Um, just to kind of make make sure that everything is sort of like it blended in so i'll dip back into the green and go over the green again and then i shall do the same with the yellow as well too Okay, so using a fluffy brush, I'm just gonna dust off all that excess very gently. And then going in with my Bling Line Tack Free Top Coat, what I'm going to do is I'm going to float a layer of top coat just over the top of the pigments. And what I mean by float is I will sort of load the brush up quite a bit and just very, very, very gently um, pull the top coat down over the design without sort of touching um, the pigment underneath. You don't want to disturb it because obviously it's not set yet. So once you have your top coat floated on, then you just go in for a full cure. Okay, so if you want to touch up any of the little lines, you can just add some black gel polish onto your palette um, or whatever you have. And again, just go in with your detailer and you can touch up any little bits and pieces. I didn't want to touch up too much because I was kind of happy with the design. So just sort of adding little bits here and there. Um, but you can obviously cure that. And then once you are finished um, adding any of your detail, then you just go in with another top coat and that is your design finished. Ta-da! And that is the finished look, guys. So I hope you liked it. I really had fun um, uh, doing this design. So as you can see there, the blue and the purple one, that was actually my second attempt. And then my first attempt, which is coming onto the screen now, is the pink and orange, which didn't work out too great, I must say. But I could see what needed to be done better as I went along. And, you know, the only way that you're going to um, really get better is by practice. So I think by the third nail, I kind of figured that obviously the little diamonds needed to be more narrowed and just a little bit more softer and not as thick or heavy black lines between. But I had so much fun and um, I'm chuffed and over the moon with how it turned out. So, but anyway, details coming up now of a really fun giveaway. So stay tuned. Okay, and here's the giveaway details. This is the huge nail art giveaway collaboration between two of my lovely YouTube buddies and nail sugar admin ladies, Kelly and Elaine. Their channels are linked down below where you can find details on how to win this gorgeous drawer box filled full of nail sugar goodies. So go check their channels out. I will see you all again next week and have a wonderful week ahead. Take care and thanks for stopping by.
Bye.